Hey guys, it's Jill from Highwater Tackle here talking to you today about what we use on the Capilano River, our local north end system that's right in the heart of North and West Vancouver. Uh, what we use and how we go about it and what species are in there and the timing for that. So fishing the Capilano, we are targeting uh, Chinook and Coho species on that system. Now it's not a very long system but it is uh, a great system for getting into the canyon and fishing. You can fish pretty much the entire river. There's a lot of park and there's a lot of access to the system. Now, some of the areas are a little bit harder to get to in the canyon. There is the upper part of the river and the lower part of the river. Usually that's divided by the highway or highway one. And you'll hear lots of people talking about the different pools. There's lots of names for the pools as well. But there's a couple different ways that you can fish in these bigger pools and in some of the runs as well. Generally, these pools in the canyon systems are very deep. They can be a little bit harder to fish. A lot of guys float fish in there with slip floats, tend to be a very good option uh, when casting in there and trying to get down to the bottom, especially if the river's low or it's been low for a little bit of time. Uh, the other thing would be spinners, casting spoons or casting spinners in there to try and achieve depth in some of these runs. Now, the Capilano has been around for a long time in terms of being a very good local fishery, easy to access and easy to kind of get down to and to get into very, very quickly. You can be immersed in the wilderness very quickly on the Capilano and it's kind of a nice reminder that you can be in the city but out of the city at the same time very quickly. So generally when I'm down there, I like to use floats and I like to drift fish down there, usually using a center pin rod when I'm in the Capilano. Uh, you have to be aware at certain times of year for the regulations on this system. Uh, starting in August right through till October 31st, there is a bait ban in this system. Now that is originally there to protect summer run steelhead in a lot of cases, but regardless there is a bait ban, so just keep that in mind. Prior to the bait ban, I like to use row for sure. That tends to be a very effective method, especially for coho. However, during the times when you cannot use bait in those systems, I do like to use wool. I like to use blades. These can be a very, very good asset in some of those deeper runs under a float. Uh, jigs work very well in a lot of cases as well, or artificial eggs, non-scented, not real eggs, that you can use and drift and be very effective in some of those areas as well. So these are some of my favorite terminal tackle to use in the Capilano. Uh, when there is a bait ban, uh, you have to be a little bit more creative in terms of what you're using as opposed to just row. Although row does work very well in non-bait ban times, there are lots of other things that you can use. Depending on the height of the water, depending on how long the water's been up, maybe depending on what time of the season it is as well. Uh, I like to use just a little bit of wool sometimes, especially in low water conditions. Uh, single eggs, once again, artificial eggs, maybe that are non-scented, you have to be a little bit careful about that. The other thing that I really like to use is blades, especially under a float. Drift fishing, these can be very, very effective. Size fours and size threes can work very nicely. I like to use uh, the metallic colors or some of the chartreuse, especially for coho. And then finally, jigs. Jigs can be very effective, especially for getting down deep and fishing even some of the heavier water as well. So when I'm fishing on the river, I have two different kinds of setups, depending on whether I'm float fishing or whether I'm casting spoons and spinners. Generally, if I'm float fishing, I will use a center pin rod and reel, get a little bit of a nicer drift, a little bit of a truer drift as well, and it can be a very, very effective method for getting down and fishing systems like the Capilano. If I am fishing with spoons and spinners in some of our local systems, like the Capilano, a level wind or a bait cast reel can work extremely well for getting a fast retrieve and being very effective for placing that spoon in behind spots. I like to use generally about a nine foot rod with a smaller uh, reel. Usually I have 12 or 15 pound line on there and just casting a small spoon like a Gibbs uh, Coho 45 on there tends to work very well. So if you want any more information on fishing the Capilano or any of our local systems, please feel free to come in and talk to any one of us here at Highwater Tackle and we can definitely help you out. We can show you locations, we can show you what to use, or if you have any questions at all, please do not hesitate to ask. We will hopefully see you down on the water and thank you very much.